Okay. I ran out of tulips. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Marta Sanderson and I'm the owner of La Bomba Floristry. Fable has these new bud vases, um, a tall and a shorter one. And what I quite like is if you're doing a tablescape, which I'll be showing you today, it's nice that you can sort of cluster some together and you can also use them separately. I'm picking flowers that don't really have much greenery so with the sweet peas we don't have any leaves so that I can showcase the flower. Often what I do is I take the leaves off. Not all the leaves but it's nice just to give a bit of room to the arrangement so that each of the flowers can actually be seen and I find the leaves whilst they're beautiful make the arrangement feel very full and hide some of the flowers that you're trying to show. Now we can really see the flowers and we can see the movement in the stem and that's what I'm trying to showcase. Often you sort of have to think about where it's going to be viewed so people are going to be sitting at the table so I don't want all the flowers to be really high and they sort of have to look up to see them. I want to put some flowers at the base, have sort of a mid-level and some sort of coming up really tall. I'm just going to start by placing some stems. So I've got a shorter poppy here and with each uh, stem you place in the bow vase, you just want to give it a fresh cut. So I'm just picking up another poppy and look at the shape of the stem. It's just beautiful. So I want to really showcase that shape and not cover it up. I place it where you can see that stem and where it can really shine. Feel free to just pull the leaves off. You don't need them. I think people sort of think you need to keep the whole thing intact, but you don't. And another great trick with the tulip is to open it because I really want this arrangement to feel really bright and like really pop with the colour. And often tulips on the outside are quite solid, but if you flick the, pet, uh, the petals, you just sort of imprint it with your thumb at the back. You can really open it up and it's just gorgeous inside. So now we have the yellow, the yellow and the orange and it's just this huge flower now. So I'm just gonna use that a little lower and because it droops down a little bit, it sort of covers the base of the vase. And I've kept one leaf on. These are really fun, these Allium, part of the garlic family. And I love the shape, it's just a sphere and really cool. So that's probably going to be like a mid, so I've got a base and a mid and a high point. But none of the flowers are competing with each other, they all have their own moment. And I'm going to place another Allium in and have that I like to think of flowers as gestures, so what is each stem going to offer the arrangement with its movement, what's it trying to say, where's it going. Um, and sweet peas are beautiful because they have a lot of movement to them, but they also fill like some negative space. So. That in the middle. And these anthurium are really beautiful too. They come like in an array of colours. And they also are very flower forward. They just have a simple stem. And they add some really nice height to the arrangement. So this would be sort of an arrangement you could put on a tablescape. And you could also just have it on its own and it sort of feels like quite strong. 
or you could pair up a smaller vase next to it and you know you could do a whole single variety of flowers just on their own so I've got a bunch of frutillaria here they're beautiful they have like a checkerboard print on them and give them a fresh snip and then put them in the vase just on their own here at the front and they just sort of have their own intrigue their own moment here so when the guest is sitting in front of them they're they've got the beautiful view of their flowers. So this would be sort of an example of one cluster. You know, you've got a little bit at the front here and then further down the table, you could just have a vase on its own and just kind of have a little moment, a little break in the table. So what I love about this arrangement it's sort of, I guess, a testament to my style of flower arranging is I just love pops of colour. Whilst there's sort of like a complementary colour pa palette going on here with the oranges, the purples and the yellow and the pinks, like it feels sort of harmonious but I really also love to break the rules and put colours that shouldn't go together. I've, I'm really drawn to that in my work. Thanks for joining me in making these arrangements in the Fable Bud Vases and I hope you enjoy making some for yourselves.